Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video we are going to talk about a different uh, shape of bacteria and its organization. So we have to match the following descriptions with the best answer. First, uh, division in one plane, cocky ranged in pairs. So cocky uh, give us idea that this bacteria is round and uh, it is arranged in pairs so it looks like this. And uh, basically, if we know that it is round and arranged in pairs, we know that the name should uh, consist of cocky and diplo, which means two. And this is, as you see, answer H, diplococcus. So uh, we can put H here. Next, division in one plane, cocky range in chains. So organization would be cocky means round and would be arranged in chains. So, once again, we should find cocky in a name and chains uh, means uh, strepto. So it's going to be streptococcus and let's find, and this is answer F. Streptococcus. Next, division into planes, cocky arranged in a square of four. So would be would look like this would be round shape and would be arranged uh, as a square of four and the answer would be I tetrad so tetra means also four this is answer I next division in one plane rods completely separate after division and rods. Uh, have other uh, also meaning uh, which is bacillus. Rods and bacillus uh, are the same thing, uh, synonyms, so imagine that we have here bacillus and uh, it's going to um, produce two cells, uh, so mother cell would produce two separate cells, so we would have two separate bacillus. And as you see, this is answer A. So this is answer A. Next term, division in one plane, uh, rods arranged in chains. So we have rods that arranged in chains. So we know that this is uh, going to be bacillus and also would have uh, in its name uh, strepto, so streptobacillus, and this is answer B. So we put B here. Next, comma shaped uh, bacterium, it looks like this, and we call it vibro, answer E. And next, a thin flexible spiral, uh, look like this, and the name also uh, have spiral or spiral kit answer C and the last one a thick uh, rigid spiral out of three left answers only one answer would match this description uh, this would be a spirillum answer D and um, we have two more uh, variants left uh, one of them Staphylococcus, uh, coccus uh, you already know meaning bacteria of the round shape uh, and Staphyla means uh, that it's going to be arranged in the clusters or clamps with uh, multi layers possible and the last variant Sarsena uh, would be arrangement of um, round shape bacteria uh, in uh, a cluster of eight. It resembles uh, what we see here as tetrad, but uh, we also would see four more bacteria on top. So it looks like um, two tetrads, uh, one on top another. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. 
Goodbye.